Geochemistry of Hydrothermal Gold Deposits Hydrothermal gold deposits are a fascinating subset of mineral deposits that form through the interaction of hot, mineral-rich fluids with the Earth's crust. Understanding the geochemistry of these deposits is crucial for both economic exploration and gaining insights into the Earth's dynamic processes. The formation of hydrothermal gold deposits is intimately tied to the movement of fluids within the Earth's crust. These fluids are typically derived from magmatic sources and contain a variety of elements, including gold, which is often transported in the form of complex ions such as OCl2, or O, SH, 2 dash. The solubility of gold in these fluids is influenced by several factors, including temperature, pressure, pH, and the presence of other chemical species. As the magmatic fluids ascend through the Earth's crust, they encounter different rock types, and their temperature and pressure conditions change. This leads to the precipitation of minerals, including gold, as the fluids cool and undergo chemical changes. The host rocks for hydrothermal gold deposits are commonly found in association with volcanic or intrusive igneous rocks, as well as sedimentary rocks. One key aspect of the geochemistry of hydrothermal gold deposits is the role of sulfur. Sulfur is often a crucial component in the ore-forming fluids, and it plays a significant role in the complexation and transport of gold. Gold commonly forms sulfide complexes, and the sulfur content of the host rocks can influence the concentration and distribution of gold within the deposit. The redox state of the fluids is another critical factor. Gold tends to be more soluble in reduced, electron-rich, environments, and variations in redox conditions can lead to the deposition or remobilization of gold. This is why many hydrothermal gold deposits are associated with sulfide minerals, as the sulfide system can control the redox conditions. The deposition of gold occurs when the fluids cool sufficiently to promote the nucleation and growth of gold-bearing minerals. Quartz veins are often the primary host for hydrothermal gold deposits, and the deposition of gold is closely linked to the precipitation of quartz and other associated minerals. Geochemical studies of hydrothermal gold deposits involve the analysis of ore minerals, host rocks, and the fluids that formed them. Techniques such as geochemical mapping, fluid inclusion studies, and stable isotope analysis are commonly employed to unravel the complex processes that lead to the concentration of gold in these deposits. In conclusion, the geochemistry of hydrothermal gold deposits is a multifaceted and dynamic field that encompasses the study of magmatic fluids, mineral precipitation, and the role of various chemical elements in the formation of economically significant gold or bodies. This understanding is crucial for effective exploration strategies and provides valuable insights into the Earth's geological processes. Geology of Hydrothermal Gold Deposits Hydrothermal gold deposits are a subset of ore deposits that form as a result of the interaction between hot fluids and the Earth's crust. The geology of hydrothermal gold deposits is a complex and multifaceted subject, encompassing the processes of fluid rock interaction, structural controls, and the influence of various geological settings. Formation Process Hydrothermal gold deposits typically originate from magmatic hydrothermal systems. These systems involve the ascent of hot, mineral-rich fluids derived from the Earth's mantle or crustal magma chambers. As these fluids migrate through the Earth's crust, they interact with different rock types, leaching minerals and carrying metals such as gold in solution. Host Rocks and Tectonic Settings The geology of hydrothermal gold deposits is closely tied to specific host rocks and tectonic environments. These deposits are often associated with volcanic or intrusive igneous rocks, such as granites or porphyries. They can also occur in sedimentary rocks, especially those with carbonate or shale compositions. The tectonic setting plays a crucial role, with many hydrothermal gold deposits found in regions associated with plate subduction zones, convergent plate boundaries, or rift zones. Structural Controls the formation of hydrothermal gold deposits is strongly influenced by structural controls. Faults, fractures, and other zones of weakness in the Earth's crust provide pathways for the ascent of mineralized fluids. 
These structures also create zones of increased permeability, facilitating the migration and accumulation of gold-bearing fluids. Understanding the geological structures in a given area is, therefore, vital for locating potential gold deposits. Mineralization Styles The geology of hydrothermal gold deposits encompasses various mineralization styles. Vein-type deposits, characterized by the precipitation of gold-bearing minerals within fractures and veins, are common. Disseminated deposits involve the widespread distribution of fine gold particles throughout a rock matrix. Breccia-hosted deposits form in fractured rock where brecciation provides space for mineralization. Each style reflects different geological processes and conditions during the deposit's formation. Alteration Zones Hydrothermal fluids alter the composition of the host rocks as they pass through, leaving behind characteristic alteration zones. These zones are crucial indicators for exploration geologists. Common alteration minerals include sericite, chlorite, albite, and carbonate minerals. The type and extent of alteration provide important clues about the composition and temperature of the hydrothermal fluids and can help in defining the geometry of the gold mineralization. Geochemical signatures Geochemical studies are integral to understanding the geology of hydrothermal gold deposits. Analyzing the composition of or minerals, host rocks, and the fluids involved helps unravel the conditions under which gold was transported and deposited. Techniques such as geochemical mapping, fluid inclusion studies, and stable isotope analysis are employed to decipher the complex geochemical signatures associated with these deposits. In summary, the geology of hydrothermal gold deposits is a dynamic field that involves unraveling the processes of fluid rock interaction, structural controls, and the geological context in which these deposits form. Successful exploration and exploitation of hydrothermal gold deposits rely on a comprehensive understanding of the geological factors influencing their formation. Importance of Hydrothermal Gold Deposits Hydrothermal gold deposits hold significant economic, geological, and societal importance, making them a crucial focus for exploration and mining activities. Understanding their importance involves considering their role in global mineral resources, economic development, and scientific exploration. 1. Economic Significance Hydrothermal gold deposits are among the most economically valuable sources of gold. Gold has been a sought-after precious metal for centuries, and its enduring value in jewelry, coinage, and as a store of wealth contributes to the economic importance of hydrothermal gold deposits. Large-scale mining operations are often established in regions with substantial gold deposits, leading to the creation of jobs, revenue generation for local economies, and contributions to national GDP. 2. Global Gold Production Hydrothermal gold deposits contribute significantly to the global gold production. Mines exploiting these deposits can yield large quantities of gold, ensuring a stable supply for various industries and meeting the demands of global markets. As gold remains a key component in the financial sector and a hedge against economic uncertainties, the sustained production from hydrothermal deposits plays a vital role in stabilizing global markets. 3. Technological Applications Gold extracted from hydrothermal deposits is not only valued for its aesthetic and monetary purposes but also for its unique physical and chemical properties. Gold is an excellent conductor of electricity and is highly resistant to corrosion, making it an essential material in various electronic and technological applications. It is used in the production of electronic components, such as connectors and switches, as well as in medical devices, telecommunications equipment, and aerospace technology. 4. Geological Understanding The study of hydrothermal gold deposits contributes significantly to our understanding of Earth's geological processes. The conditions under which these deposits form provide insights into the dynamic interactions between magmatic fluids, host rocks, and tectonic forces. Geological research on hydrothermal systems helps scientists comprehend the evolution of the Earth's crust, the migration of fluids through geological structures, and the genesis of valuable mineral resources. 
5. Exploration and Resource Management Hydrothermal gold deposits serve as targets for mineral exploration, guiding geologists and mining companies to areas with the potential for significant gold concentrations. Advances in exploration technologies, such as geophysical surveys, geochemical analyses, and remote sensing, are often employed to identify prospective regions for further investigation. Efficient exploration and responsible resource management are essential for ensuring a sustainable supply of gold and minimizing environmental impacts. 6. Scientific Insights The study of hydrothermal gold deposits extends beyond economic considerations. It provides a platform for scientific research on ore forming processes, fluid rock interactions, and the role of geological structures in mineralization. Scientific insights gained from the study of hydrothermal systems contribute to broader understanding of Earth's geology, geochemistry, and the intricate relationships between geological processes and mineralization. In conclusion, hydrothermal gold deposits play a pivotal role in the global economy, technological advancements, and our understanding of Earth's geology. Their economic significance, technological applications, and scientific contributions underscore their importance as valuable resources and subjects of ongoing research and exploration.